Hello everybody, uh, this is Kabir. I'm a regional soil health specialist for USD NRCS. Today we are going to show you the rainfall simulator and the water movement and also this parts of the soil particle in different management systems. These are the soil collected from the plant material center and but in different management system they are similar kind of soil. Here you can see the first one you can look at the conventional tillage and no cover and this is a grassland with the five years of grassland and with some living covers and the third tray you can see the walnut orchard that is adjacent to the plant material center and has more than 20 years of cover crop practices and the fourth one has a conventional tillage but we put some dead residue on top of it. So number one tray is similar with the number four trays. Only difference is that this number one is not cover the bare ground or fallow field compared to the fourth is the same soil, same conventional tillage, but we put a residue dead cover crop residues on top. Here you can see that two rows of jar the front rows actually is showing the water is moving across the pan or the tray and this is called the runoff and and the behind you see there are also four jar and those jar actually is going to show you the water infiltration through the soil profile. After one inches of rainfall with this rainfall simulator and you can see what is happening with this four management systems. Front jar is going to show you the runoff from the field and the back jars are going to show you the infiltration or the soil is uh, water is remaining in the field or not. So let's start with the conventional tillage and here you can see that the how much water actually coming up from the field and look at the color of the jar looks like it's a very dark it means all the topsoil is going to this place and if you're looking at the jar below behind which is you are looking at the infiltration rate is a very little or minimum. So no water actually or little water is going through the soil profile. Next one we look at the grassland that is last five years no tillage has been done and it has a cover 90 percent is actually covered. That's why we actually see no runoff at all. And we also see a, a good amount of infiltration. What does it mean that water is remaining in the soil profile? Third one, if you go in here, walnut orchards, more than 20 years of cover crops. And here you see the runoff, little bit of runoff. But the, look at the color, difference in the color of the runoff is dark here means in a lot of soil particles and chemicals is going in here but this one is water is much cleaner and if you're looking at uh, infiltration it's much more infiltration so all the water 
actually is remaining in the field. So during the summer time, producer is actually using less irrigation water. And the fourth one actually the same as uh, first one. So once you have any kind of residue, you see the color is much less darker, so much cleaner. And, and other things as you can see, once you have some residue, but conventional system, you got more infiltration compared to the one just the bare ground. Here you can see that we flip these four trays in four management system. First one is the conventional tillage. So, and you can see that there is no aggregate. So, all those soil particles actually falling apart. And water actually didn't go through this one. That's so why that's so you see is a much, there is no water soaked in here. That actually is showing in here there is no infiltration. Whereas most of them are running off. So its soil is more compacted therefore no water is remaining there actually running off from the field. Second one if we are going in here we can see the grassland, uh, five years of grassland and with a, with a 90 percent of the green cover has a lot of root systems in here and there is an aggregate in there. And also you can see the biology and here is a centipede or millipede, millipede is in here and you know right here. So, so the biology also here. Then you see that there is no runoff from here and the infiltration is much more. So number three is the adjacent to the PMC that is 20 more than 20 years of cover crop in uh, walnut orchard and you can see the color from grasslands and from conventional tillage. So it's much darker color and the aggregates actually is look a, looks like a black cottage cheese and what does indicate that you know it has a nice soil aggregates therefore it has more soil habitats or soil biology and a lot of organic matter. I heard from the historical perspectives when uh, the uh, cover crop started organic matter was 0.9% now more than 6% organic matter in this orchard when you have a long term cover crops. And number 4 which is similar to number 1, only difference is the residue. So actually residue also making a substantial difference in uh, infiltration and also running off because the runoff water is much more clear than the conventional uh, tray which has no cover or no residues on top. So it's much darker runoff where it means that it has more soil, topsoil and all the chemicals with it actually moving out. From this rainfall simulator you know, demonstration, you can see the importance of soil health practices such as cover crop, residue covers, or continuous growing crops, and minimize the disturbance can improve the soil, you know, in a way that is a hugely difference in the soil property, uh, organic matter increase, and other 
important part for California is that water is saving a lot of water and also reduce the pollution of the water body if you are doing this soil health practice. So from this demonstration, we can see this very nicely. Thank you.